heat wave is now hitting the East Coast. Upwards of 100 degrees. 53 million Americans are under extreme heat warning. It's hot out here. They say don't wear dark clothes in the sun. It attracts the sunlight and makes you hot. Ah, that's better. Does that also apply to laptops? MacBook Airs come in different colors and I've got complete opposites here. Midnight color, which if the theory is right, will attract more light and might throttle sooner out in the sun. And then there's silver color, which will reflect more sun. Will it last longer outside in the sun before throttling? And I've got two of each here to really test it out because you know, it's uh, not really a real science experiment. Oh, this? The Schwarzenegger. This is Schwarzenegger 2.0. Whenever I press that big red button, all these fingers go down at the same time, allowing me to synchronize the execution of the commands that I'm running. And because this is a really not real science experiment, we need a baseline for how these do inside, out of the sun. All right, let's go. <laughs> yes. So far so good, nobody's throttling yet, but we do have a lot of usage and power here. Look at that, 18.54 watts for an Apple silicon machine, that's quite a lot. Here we've got 19, 18, 17, 17. Nobody's throttling yet. We are at 33 degrees now. This one is at 34, 34, oh, 32. This is the cool one. Even though I've done this test before on the MacBook Air, it still amazes me how much these airs can withstand before slowing the cores. Check out that CPU history chart right there. <laughs> Those green towers that are coming by. It's showing us that all the CPUs are being absolutely pegged to the max. And so far, no throttling. I'm gonna take this guy off. Hasta la vista, M2. Still no throttling. What a beautiful sight. MacBook Airs versus MacBook Airs. Ah, uh, we got one. Oh, we got another one. Okay, the two silver machines are throttling first, indoors. The two midnight color ones are not throttling yet, but the two silver ones are. Oh, what? Why? That's really weird. It's just probably just random, I'm guessing. We're at 42 degrees. Looks like that's kind of a max. Oh, 43 for this one. 44 for this one. And 42 for this one. Now this one has just started throttling and we got one holdout, the midnight color, still not throttling. The rest of them are all throttling. Well, yes, there it is. It's now finally throttling. So all these machines are now throttling. Now it's time for the outdoor test. I just realized that I need to wait for all these to be cool before I start a new test on them. been a bit let's see 29 29 28 28 28 28 let's go we've got all the machines set up here and it is a bit toasty and schwarzenegger joined us for this one too oh. it's the first time schwarzenegger is outside the machines have cooled down but they've been out here for about five minutes it's not looking promising i'm not running anything yet and we're at 51 degrees. But it's not really about how much they heat up because we know they're gonna heat up in the sun. It's about which color would last longer without throttling. Here we go. They're all running. <laughs> this one and this one, the two dark ones are already throttling and the two silver ones are not yet. Okay, all the machines are throttling now, but this is really interesting because the midnight color ones throttled first. I wasn't exactly satisfied with this, so I took all the MacBook Airs out for a little walk. After all, a good non-experiment experiment should be conducted more than once. Twice, maybe. I found a nice little cozy spot on the grass, making sure that I was under the sun, and this time I was gonna pull out one laptop at a time and test them individually. I noticed that because the laptop started out from a cooled down state, they did last a little bit longer than my tabletop test, but the results were consistent. When the sun was beating down, the silver laptop outlasted the midnight one. Then when the sun hid behind the clouds, both colors lasted longer with the silver one beating out the midnight one once again. That took a lot less time than I thought, but it sort of proves a point and I think maybe my theory was right, especially because the silver one throttled first indoors without the sun and the midnight color ones throttled first here in the sun. Is the difference huge? Not really. If you're in the sun, you're gonna suffer on a MacBook Air. But if they ever come out with a midnight color MacBook Pro that has a fan in it, then watch out. 
you might not want to take that one outside either. Of course, none of these MacBook Airs have a fan, so they're all going to struggle a bit. 